Hello, writers. So today, once again, we are going to be working on nonfiction writing. So the last time we worked together, we made this topic list of things that we are experts about. And I'm going to write about my family. So just like always, I'm going to take one of my sticky notes. These sticky notes happen to be from Everly who is in our class. She gave this to me as part of a gift. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right here. And I'm going to write the word family on it because this is my story about my family. Actually, I shouldn't call it a, a story. This is an informational text that I am writing about my family. And if you don't remember why do we do this making these tabs things it's so that when we are looking for our writing it is really easy to find it we don't have to like turn a million pages to figure out where it is so instead of having to turn a bunch of pages I can just go like oh there's a story about my family and that's right there this is not very sticky so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of glue real quick and of course I don't have oh I have some double-sided tape though I'll use a little double-sided tape to make sure that that doesn't come out because I would hate to tear my page or lose track of where that story is. Okay, right there. So I'm gonna be writing about my family. Hmm, what do I know about my family? So I know that there are the people in my family. So I'm just making a little plan about the things I wanna talk about. I know there are things we like to do, like we like to go to Disneyland. I know that we are makers, which means that we like to make a lot of stuff. And um, I also know that we like to play games. And we like to spend time together. All right, so now I've just kind of come up with a little list of things that I wanna make sure to put in my story. Today, at the end of our writing time together, you're also going to write a story about your family. There aren't a lot of rules about the story. You're just gonna write a little story. So, my family, and I'm gonna include my dog too, because she's a big part of our family. My family is four people and one dog, period. So remember those periods and capitals, we worked on that a lot for our last narrative story. The other thing is, I've got my lines that I'm skipping here so I can go back and make changes if you need to. This is a little tip that you can do if you want. You can go put an X over every line that you're not gonna write on, and that will help remind you to skip lines when we go back through and change and add details, the skipping lines just kind of helps. My family is four people and one dog. Guinevere is 17 and my daughter. My son, Jude, is 12 years old. I'm married to Mr. LJ and we have one dog named Freddy. Should I put Freddy Sparkles? I think so. Freddy Sparkles. I am Tamara. The mom and wife. Okay, now I've written about my people. We like to spend time together 
we play video games like Mario Party. Among Us and Mario Kart. Okay, I've got to spend time, play games. We love to visit Disneyland. We also like to make things. I make books. Guinevere sews Jude. Prints 3D models and paints them. Mr. Lil John is an artist who writes and draws. That is all about my family. Oof, my hands hurt. Oh, I wrote so much, but I feel really proud of my writing. So today, your job is to make a story about something that you know a lot about. You can see I didn't have, like, it's not super long just some writing that I did about my family, which I know really well. If you need to get ideas from one of your family members about something that you can say about them or something that you need more some, some more details on, that's okay. It is not okay to have your family write for you or type for you. This needs to be your writing. I think that you should have at least five sentences if you write more than five sentences, I think that's super awesome. When you're finished, take a photograph of your writing and share it with me on Seesaw. Till next time, friends.